Welcome to the Optimize Gateway Antivirus for HTTP Traffic video tutorial. During this brief video, I'll quickly define Gateway Antivirus, show you how to use the wizard to get started with Gateway AV, and make some recommendations to help you optimize Gateway AV performance for HTTP traffic. Gateway Antivirus or Gateway AV, is a security subscription that enables your Firebox or XTM device to identify and block viruses by scanning email attachments, web content, and FTP downloads. Most people don't notice if their email or FTP downloads run a bit slower because of AV scanning, but people do tend to complain when their web browsing slows down. Because of this, I'll focus on how you can improve Gateway AV for HTTP performance by having your device bypass AV scanning for content types that are less likely to contain viruses. As a side note, I want to point out that you must use Policy Manager to edit the Gateway AV settings for the HTTP proxy because these settings cannot be configured in the Fireware XTM web UI. The Gateway Antivirus Wizard enables Gateway AV and automatically configures Gateway AV settings in the proxy actions for each policy you select. By default, the wizard configures the HTTP proxy to scan all allowed traffic for viruses. Let's start the wizard so you can see how it works. Because I already have an HTTP proxy policy in my configuration, the wizard automatically selects my existing policy. For this demonstration, I'll stick with the HTTP proxy and won't create any additional policies for SMTP, POP3, or FTP. When I finish the wizard, I can look at the proxy action configuration. I'd like to point out that if you want to review or change the proxy scanning settings at some point in the future, you can do so by going to the Gateway Antivirus Policies window at any time. As a result of using the wizard, the action for the URL paths, content types, and body content types rule sets is automatically changed from Allow to AV Scan. To improve performance, I can change the default action settings to be more selective about which types of content I want Gateway AV to scan. This view of the Gateway Antivirus configuration of a policy window shows the three rule sets that control the traffic types that Gateway AV can scan. First, I'll look at the URL Paths rule set. In this rule set, the Gateway AV Wizard changed the action to take from Allow to AV Scan, which means every HTTP request will be scanned. To optimize performance, I can change the default action back to Allow. With this set to Allow, the HTTP proxy won't scan based on the URL, but can still scan content based on the settings in other rule sets. Next, I'll look at the Content Types rule set, which matches content based on the MIME type in the HTTP header. By default, content with a MIME type that matches any of the rules is scanned and all other content is denied. To improve performance, I can add rules for specific MIME types that I think are relatively safe to allow without scanning. In this view, the HTTP proxy uses the same action for content that matches any of the rules. To configure rules with different actions, I need to switch to the Advanced view. Now I can set the action individually for each rule and add new rules with different actions. For example, if I want to allow plain text files without scanning them, I can add a rule. I assign a rule name to the rule and then type the media type for plain text files. Now I need to move my new rule to the top of the list so the HTTP proxy evaluates it first. I can repeat these steps to add rules for any other content types that I feel are safe enough to allow without scanning. You must decide for yourself which content types you think are safe to allow into your network without scanning. Ideally, all content would be scanned for viruses. 
However, there are some types of content that IT professionals believe are less likely to contain viruses, and you may opt to allow these file types without scanning as an acceptable risk to improve network performance. Finally, I'll look at the Body Content Types rule set. These rules match content based on the header within a file itself, not in the HTTP header. Use the Body Content Types rule set to block file types you never want to see in your network. By default, there are several rules for file types that are generally considered to be higher risk. The default action for types that match these rules is deny. Because the None Matched rule is set to AV Scan, all other files are scanned for viruses. To improve performance, I can change the None Matched action to Allow. Keep in mind that changing the setting does not mean all other file types are allowed without scanning. The HTTP proxy can still decide to scan files based on the Content Types rule set. That's it! I've customized the HTTP proxy to use MIME content types as the only criteria for AV scanning, which should improve gateway AV performance for my users. Just to summarize, let's recap what I did to optimize my HTTP proxy performance. First, I decided not to use URL paths or body content types as scanning criteria. I also added rules to bypass gateway AV scanning for MIME types I consider to be lower risk. It is important to note that simply adding rules to bypass scanning based on MIME content type won't improve performance unless you also configure URL paths and body content types so they are not used as criteria for scanning. It's also worth noting that you can add proxy exceptions to the HTTP proxy action to bypass AV scanning for all files from specific hosts based on the host header. This can also improve performance. For more resources about configuring gateway antivirus and the HTTP proxy, see the WatchGuard website.